It's time to tune in to Joey's To Catch a Predator channel. He's gonna give you the backstory. He's gonna show you where they are today. This is Seizure Machine. Let's go. Since 2015, Joey's TCAP. We got letters from predators. Motherfucker, take a seat. I light a bloodstained cigarette. Joey, um. Joy TCAP, who I appreciate. Uh, Joy. Hi, I'm Callie. Hi, I'm Brett. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So I got to tell you, I saw your ad and I thought, woo, that's kind of cool. But I do want to tell you the truth that I'm young. I mean, I don't think I am, but I might. How young are you? 14. <laughs> but really, it's not that young. Where do you live? Monticello, in the country. What state? Georgia. <laughs> OK. Why are you not in school? <laughs> I am in school. Are you going to be paddled for using your phone? <laughs> I hope not. My granny just gave it back to me. You ever been paddled in school? No. <laughs> I did have my dad do it when I was younger before he died. Do you get spanked at home now? Sorry about your dad. My dad passed in September. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. No, I just live with my granny now. She doesn't spank you? No, she takes my stuff from me now. <laughs> Will they paddle girls at your school? They still have the paddle stuff in elementary school, but not in ninth grade. Okay. So what happens if you get in trouble in school? They call your parents usually, then ISS or expelled. I'll be right back. Okay. Are you out of school now? Not till 3.45. Okay, why so late? I don't know. That's just when we get out. <laughs> How young were you when you were last spanked? Hmm, let's see. Okay, I'm 14 now. My dad died when I was four. My mom spanked me with a belt the last time when I was eight, I think. Did your mom love with y'all? Uh, live with y'all? Autocorrect. No, she's in rehab. I'm sorry. Your school doesn't paddle in high school? It's okay. I'm used to it. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> if they do, I haven't heard about it. I'm only in ninth grade, so I don't get into much trouble yet. Do you have a Facebook? No, I did, but Granny got mad and made me delete it. What attracts you to my ad? What is it about my ad? Honestly, I just like the idea of it being taken control of. It sounds to me like you get in trouble a lot. Your Granny took your phone. Your granny stopped your Facebook? Well, I did, but I'm doing better now. Good. Are you active in your school? Sports, cheer, band? No. <laughs> Do you have school uniforms? No. Do you mind showing me pics of you? Pic. Thank you. Welcome. You always been attracted to older men? Yeah. Do you know my age? Mm, no. What? I'm 39. When's your birthday? That's hot. I love older guys. September 5th. What kind of clothes do you wear? Mm, usually t-shirts, jeans, nothing fancy. What about you? Do you wear skin tight painted on clothes? No. Okay, that's good. Is that your choice not to wear those types of clothes? Mm, like I want to sometimes, but granny won't let me. That's good. What do you want to wear? Like tight shirts and heels. What about from your waist down? You wear skin tight painted on now or you want to? Mm, no, I might want to wear shorter skirts. Do you wear thong panties? <laughs> no, I want to, but my granny won't get them for me. What kind of panties do you wear? I don't know, just regular ones. What did the ad say that you replied to? I have more than one. Mm, I don't remember exactly, but there was a paddle on there and it talked about daddy daughter. Two paddles. Did you look at both paddles? Mm, I think just the one with the holes. You like it? Yeah. What do you like about it? 
I don't know, for real. It reminds me of Fifty Shades of Grey, and that's super hot. Okay, what do you like about older men? They just know what they're doing, I guess, and they're sexy. Are you a virgin? Yeah, that bad? No, that's awesome. I really don't want to be. <laughs> you should stay as virgin as long as you can. Maybe. <laughs> wow, those are big. Those are my two main paddles. Wow, did you make them? No, bought them. Oh, does it hurt? You would have to find out for yourself. Mmm. How long have you done this? Since 1995, over 20 years. Wow, that's a long time. Why do you like it? I love a girl's ass. I love a girl's ass in my face. I love grabbing, pinching, spanking. I love to give girls what they need. What do you think I need? I'm sure you know girls who are brats and have never been spanked before. Yeah, for sure. Total bitches. <laughs> they need to be paddled, don't they? Yeah. So then paddle her. Do you want paddled? <laughs> I don't want to paddle anyone. Do you want paddled? Mm, I think so. Like, what all do you do? I paddle with wood paddles. I have those two and some other ones too. I spank over my lap. I use my hand, brushes, belt, paddles, switches. Wow. Like, how long do you do that for? Till I think you've had enough. So, are you like the guy from Fifty Shades? Like, for real? You bend over and grab your ankles for the paddlings, and you go over my lap for the spankings. Oh, that sounds hot. Would you get in trouble on purpose in school, if that's what happened to you? Mmm, I don't want to get in trouble at school. <laughs> Maybe at home. Okay, would you want to paddle you and spank you? Would you want me to paddle you in school too? You can't come to my school. <laughs> if I worked there, would you let me paddle you? Mmm. I never thought about that. Maybe so. Where do you want me to punish you? On my butt. I mean location. Oh, sorry. I mean, my granny is going out of town soon, so maybe then? She's going to leave you by yourself? Yeah. My aunt's going to check in on me. See, I've been good, so she trusts me now. <laughs> Can you press the video button in the top right? I, I can't now, because I'm with my granny, but maybe in a little bit. Could you see me just then? Uh, no. Okay, I had it on. Oh, no, I didn't see anything. Will you video chat with me when you can? Yeah, it probably won't be super long though, cause I'm gonna have to do it like so my granny can't hear me. <laughs> what do you use? Skype? Google Duo? What do you want to video chat with me on? What do you want to video chat with me on? If I was a coach or principal at the school, I'd paddle every day for something. You okay? You never told me what you're seeking. What are you seeking? Sorry, my, my phone died. Someone to teach me about this, I guess. If I was a coach or principal at your school, I'd paddle every day for something. <laughs> okay. Do you mind sending me more pics, please? Why? To see what you look like. What do you look like? <laughs> wow, you are super cute. Thank you. You are very beautiful. You're welcome. Thank you. How short are the skirts that you wear now? Not very short. <laughs> Just above my knee. Good. Be ladylike, please. Dress ladylike. Talk ladylike. Act ladylike. A lady being a lady is tons more attractive than a girl dressing trashy and talking trashy and acting horrible. And if the guy prefers a girl who's not ladylike, then he's not the right guy to like or to be with. I see what you're saying. That makes sense. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. I love you calling me sir. Do you have pics of you in your skirts? Is that bad for me to ask you that? No, I don't actually though. I'm sorry. How short are the shorts you wear? I don't know. Not real short. It's winter now. <laughs> you wear leggings, jeggings, yoga pants, tights, pantyhose? Um, leggings sometimes. Do you have any pics of you in leggings? <laughs> I don't think so. Do you mind taking some pics for me and sending them to me? Maybe tomorrow. I'm going to bed now. Video chat first or talk on the phone first. What clothes are you wearing to school tomorrow? Are you awake? 
Sorry, I fell asleep last night. It's okay. What are you doing? Are you in school now? Are you getting ready for school? I'm at school now. What did you wear? Jeans and a shirt. Can you go to the bathroom and take pics of yourself in the mirror? No, why? I want to see what you're wearing and how you look today. Maybe next class, because I have a test this morning. What kind of test? Algebra. Are you in algebra class now? Yeah. Have you seen the Fifty Shades movies? Yes, they're or, hot. <laughs> or read the books? I read the first one. That's it. Do you have siblings? What kind of panties are you wearing now? Mm, no, um, pink ones. You are an only child? Yes. Pink bikini panties? No, just regular ones. Do you have a PE class? You mean life sports? <laughs> yes. Yeah? Do you dress for it? Like in shorts and certain clothes for the class? Uh, yeah, sometimes. You dressing out today at PE? Uh, I don't know. What do you dress out in? Shorts? Yeah. Would you take pics of you in your shorts you dress out in at PE class today? No. I want to see how amazing you look in them. When is your class after algebra? How tight are the jeans you have on? Are you still in algebra? No, I'm in life sports. PE? Yeah. Are you dressed out in shorts? No, we're watching a movie today. Please, please, please. Go in locker room or bathroom and take pics of what you have on. Please, please, please. No. Sorry, I'm not just going to send you a bunch of pics all the time. Okay, I respect that. Thank you. How do you think you did on your algebra test? You seem intelligent. Uh, okay. I think I am. You are so very beautiful. I ask for pics because you are so gorgeous. I don't mean to freak you out by asking for pics all the time. I don't mind sending pics. Thank you. You are so cute. Thank you. You are awesome. Are you okay with me telling you that you're sexy? Yes, I am. You are so handsome. You make me feel sexy. Is that bad? No, not bad at all. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so very much for saying that. You're welcome, sir. Does it make you feel sexy showing me pics of yourself? Mm, sometimes. Okay, awesome. Do you want to bend over and grab your ankles in front of me, then paddle you hard? Yeah, I think so. Do you want to go over my lap for me to spank you hard? Do you want to lay over my lap and me spank you hard over my lap? <laughs> yes. When? Mm, maybe Friday. Where? 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 Um, maybe my house. My granny is going out of town. She doing that this weekend? Yeah. Yes, sir, you mean. Sorry. Yes, sir. She's going to be gone for the whole weekend? Friday and Saturday, then comes back on Sunday. Okay. You positive she's going to leave you by yourself? No one is going to stay with you? No, she's going on a church retreat. That's why I've been behaving so much, so she will trust me again. Awesome. You meant no, sir. Oh, no, sir. You asked me yesterday, what do I think you need? What do you think you need? Mm, to be disciplined, sir. Okay. Spanked hard? Paddled hard? Yes, sir. We really need to talk on the phone as soon as you can. After school? That's fine. Okay. After four-year time, I'm one hour behind you. I usually get off the bus at 4.45. Okay, that sounds good. We need to video chat too, ASAP. Will you do that? I don't know. I've done that before, and guys just want me to show them my boobs. I gotta think about that one. Okay, I won't do that. I won't ask that. I'll think about it. I'm a butt guy, not a boob guy. You should already know that. <laughs> Have you talked with older men before? Yeah, once. How old? I think he was 24. Did you want him to punish you? No, sir. What did you want him to do? Did he ask to see your boobs? Yeah. You are sexy, Callie. I'm sure you have a sexy butt. Do you mind me saying that? <laughs> no, not at all, sir. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Have you ever spanked a girl who was 14 like me before? No. Oh, I guess I thought you had. 
I was once married a long time ago, and she had daughters who were my stepdaughters, and I spanked them when they got in trouble. I don't remember their ages. There were two of them. They may have been in your age range. Oh, okay. Are you afraid I'm not the right man for the job? One thing I have plenty of experience in is spanking and paddling girls. I do know that. You want someone with experience. You want someone with experience and who knows what they are doing and how to correctly do it. There is a wrong way to spank and paddle. I know the wrong ways and the correct ways. I do the correct ways. If you do it incorrectly, the person can get hurt. I don't do that. I do it correctly and I do it to where it counts to where you remember it and it's effective. You stay out of trouble and it's a reminder to what happens when you get in trouble. The point of doing it is to teach that there are consequences for your actions. It does matter what you do and say. Your consequences are my punishments. If you have no consequences, then you will do whatever and say whatever and end up in jail and prison. I am the perfect man for the job. The world is bad enough already the way it is now. It would be tons worse if people did whatever with no consequences. That makes sense. That's why I do it, to discipline girls who need it and even girls who want it. Thank you. Like, does it mean sex at all? Part of what I try to do is teach. Do you want sex? Oh, okay. I, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Do you? It does turn me on. Does it turn you on? It turns some people on. Like, kinda. When I watched Fifty Shades, it did. It's okay if it turns you on. Okay. Would you be okay to having sex with me? I'm 39. 40 soon. Mmm, yeah, maybe. It's kinda hot sounding. <laughs> okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Please explain to me what you like about daddy-daughter. You said you like it, but you never explained. I guess I just like the idea of the guy being older and maybe calling him daddy. Does that sound weird? No, nothing wrong with that. Part of it is protection. You feel safe and protected with an older man. He's your father figure. And part of being a father figure and keeping you safe and protected is punishing you to keep you in line so you don't end up hurting yourself or others or ending up behind bars. Oh, I see. That makes sense. I try to teach. I try to make it make sense. It does. I understand what you're saying. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. I teach to girls so they don't end up like those girls we mentioned yesterday who are bitches. They have never been punished. You don't want to end up like them, do you? Females are to be ladylike, not bitches. All females need punished, in my opinion, because they all need to be kept in line. They all need discipline because they all need consequences for all of their actions. You said you want someone to teach you all about this. I hope I'm doing that well. Yes, sir, you are. It makes a lot of sense. Thank you. I got physics science soon, so I gotta get off my phone. That teacher is a dick. <laughs> you can call me daddy if you want. Daddy with a capital D. Yes, Daddy. You need to be paddled hard and spanked hard for being disrespectful towards your teacher and about your teacher. If I were that teacher, I'd have you bent over grabbing your ankles in the hall and I'd be swinging my paddle as hard as I can paddling you hard. Yes, sir. Do you feel like you need that? Yes, sir. Would you take it hard? Mm, yes, sir. Would you stay in position? Would you not fuss about it? Yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Okay, I, I gotta go though. I, I can't have my phone out in this last class. Talk to you later, sir. Okay, daughter, that okay? Yes, sir. Okay, you out of school? Yep. You on bus or at home? On the bus. Can you call me? When I get off the bus, it's too loud to hear anything. Okay. You said your aunt will be checking on you this weekend, yes? Like she'll call me and text me maybe, bring me dinner Saturday night or something. she a neighbor? No, she lives in the town over. She's how far away from your house? You know I can't be caught doing this. I'm looking out for you and me. I'm looking out for the both of us. Oh yeah, um, maybe like 35 minutes away? Have you had guys over before when you were by yourself? When you were alone? Yeah, last time my granny went out of town, I had a boy over. I'm looking out for the both of us. How old was he? What did y'all do? He was 19. We fooled around a little and smoked weed. <laughs> you do need your ass busted hard, don't you? 
Yes, sir. Was he local? It was my friend's cousin. He was from Florida. Okay. What all happened? Oral sex? No. We kissed. He felt my boobs a little. Okay. He didn't grab your ass? Feel up your butt? Um, maybe a little. Do guys grab your butt at school? Do guys look at your butt? Maybe once? I don't know. Would you bend over or anything like that? I don't know. I don't look. What did you do when your butt was grabbed at school? I don't remember. Walked away? Was that this year? Mm, last year, maybe? I really don't remember. I'm sure your butt is nice. When is your spring break? April. When in April? I think April 1st. Are you going to be home alone during spring break? No. I'm going with my granny somewhere. All week? Yep. Okay. Does it bother you when I talk about your butt? Mmm, no. Or ask about your butt? Mmm, no. Or say I'm sure it's nice and sexy? <laughs> I like that. I want to see your butt. Is that okay? Yeah, I guess. When I see you. <laughs> Would you show me when we video chat, please? Please? Please, daughter. I'll think about it. Thank you, daughter. You're welcome, daddy. Do you want to be spanked over your panties or bare or fully clothed? Same question for how you want to be paddled. Mmm, what do you want, sir? Start on clothes and then panties, then bare. Okay, that sounds good. It will be. Has any guy ever spanked you before or paddled you before other than your dad? No. Can you see me now? Just a paddle. I press the camera in the top right. Oh, okay. You don't see me? No, sir. You can't hear me? No. Okay. Think about it this way. You're going to be naked for sex, so spanking you and patting you on your bear should be no different. Yeah, that's true. Do you care that I'm a virgin, though? No, it's sexy. Super duper sexy. You ever had oral sex? No. Be proud of that. Be so very damn proud of that. Be proud you're a virgin. It's awesome. Smiley face. It's sexy. I'm glad. <laughs> so you have only groped and kissed? Yes, sir. Are there lots of girls who have had sex your age? Yeah, all my friends. I'm sorry. It's okay. I kind of get jealous, to be honest. Please don't. Once you lose it, you never get it back. I won't. Unless it's you. Thank you. Are you on birth control? You're welcome. No. Okay. Can you video chat or phone talk? We can talk on the phone. Okay. 205. Whoa, for real? Yes. Three. When can we video chat? I don't know. Maybe after my granny leaves? I'll call you in a few. Okay. Okay. Where is she going? Florida. Okay. Now? I'm going to call you. Awesome. You have such a sexy voice. Thank you. I was nervous. You are so sexy. Smiley. What happened to each guy she caught you with? <laughs> she chased them out of the house with a stick. <laughs> Did she catch you with the guy you had over while she was gone? No, thank God. She find out about it? No. <laughs> You still want me to come over after finding out I'm in Alabama four hours away? You still want me to come over after finding out I'm in Alabama four hours away? <laughs> I do. Is that bad? You sound so cute. Do you still want to, even though I live so far away? Yes, I do. Smiley. Can I please, please, please see pics of your butt fully clothed and what you are wearing now? Please, please. Please, I know you hate people wanting pics of your body, but please, fully clothed, call me back, please. <laughs> Why? You said you were calling back. <laughs> yeah, after my granny leaves. Okay. Are you okay with me asking for pics of your butt? We are going to be naked having sex, so asking to see your butt fully clothed should be okay. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Think about it this way. You're going to be bent over in front of me when I paddle you. Your ass will be in my face at that moment. 
you will be bent over grabbing your ankles and holding on tight to your ankles with your ass up in my face, which is exactly where I want your sexy ass, in my face. So pics of your butt shouldn't be bad. Your ass in my face. That's what I want, your ass in my face. Hope that's okay with you. She left? <laughs> that's hot. No, not yet. I don't I don't know what she's doing. Okay. So your ass in my face is okay with you. <laughs> yes, sir. Awesome. Thank you, daughter. You're welcome, Daddy. So it makes sense that pics of your ass fully clothed is not a bad thing. I'm the only person who will see them. They are for my eyes only. And also, your ass will be over my lap and my face when I spank you over my lap. How tall are you? I'm like 5'5", five five, I think. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Sexy ass. You are my sexy daughter. You have braces. Your teeth are so white. That's awesome. Picture. You have your teeth bleached or whitened? No, they're just white. <laughs> you are so sexy. Granny isn't going to church. She's dragging me to dinner. Ugh. I will talk to you later, Daddy. Okay. What are you wearing there? What I have on. Would you please go in the bathroom, in the restaurant, and take pics of your ass in there, please? For your daddy's eyes only, sweetie. Are you talking with other guys other than me? Are you dating anyone? Or seeing anyone? Or talking to anyone? Are you straight? Are you in any kind of relationship with anyone? You okay? Can you call me when you can? Yeah, I'll try. Just with my granny. Okay. Still in restaurant? Still in restaurant? Would you please go in bathroom, in restaurant, and take pics of your ass in there, please? Or in bathroom, wherever you are? Please, 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 my sexy daughter. I GPS the way from here to there. Not bad. Only three main roads. Just takes four hours. I like you as my daughter. You are my sexy daughter. I like that. Hope you like it. <laughs> I do like that. I can't chat right now. Still with Granny. Then gotta go to sleep. Promise I will text you tomorrow. I'm glad you like it. Can I ask you some quick questions first, please? Okay. Are you straight? I think so. I mean, I have had girl crushes before. You like girl butts? I love girl butts. Are you in any kind of relationship with anyone? If she leaves Thursday, are you going to school Friday? No, I don't have a boyfriend. Yeah, I have to go to school Friday. You're not talking to anyone. I mean, I have friends. Or dating or seeing anyone. No, I'm not. Talking to any other guys other than me? Just me? You have guy friends? What do you wear to bed? Please answer all of my questions, daughter Callie. Sorry, I'm busy with my granny. I have a few guy friends from school. I wear pajamas. I gotta go, daddy. Promise to text soon. You date your guy friends? No, they're gross. Okay, sleep peacefully. Dream of me paddling you and spanking you. You going to bed now? Your pajamas are sexy. You like girl butts? Dream of me paddling you and spanking you. Yes, daddy. I will dream of you paddling me and spanking me soon. Are you just wanting a one-time get-together or something that lasts like a relationship? I don't know, daddy. What do you want? I'll be 41 when you're 16. Have you started driving? <laughs> no, you can't drive when you're 14. Well... I did that one time when I stole my granny's car last year. <laughs> okay, for real, for real, I have to go to sleep, Daddy. You stole your granny's car? <laughs> for a little bit. I meant, have you been practicing driving? No. I know you can't drive yet. <laughs> Why did you take her car? Honestly, I was bored. We don't live close to town, and I wanted a Dr. Pepper. So I drove to the store while my nanny was napping. <laughs> I got home to find her in the yard freaking out. She didn't spank you? No, she screamed and grounded me. Were you 13? Yeah, I was 13, almost 14. 
you'd need to please text me all these different things that you have done over the years and didn't get paddled for. When you have time, please list them all to me and text when you have time. Okay, daddy. Night. You did agree you need paddled for all the many things from your past you didn't get spanked for. You do agree, yes? Hey, daddy. Oh my God, it stormed last night. Wi-Fi is barely working at school. If I don't text too much today, that's why. I hope you're not mad, sir. You do agree you need paddled for all the many things from your past you didn't get spanked for. Yes, sir. Daddy wants to see pics of your ass. I want to see pics of my daughter's ass. I'm in class. As soon as you can, please. What class are you in now? Science. Can you go to the bathroom? and take pics of yourself and your ass for your daddy, for your daddy's eyes only, please. When is sports class? Daddy wants to see pics of you dressed out in your shorts for sports class, please. Please, 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 daughter. I sent you pics, daddy. You're gonna see me soon. I'm not gonna just send you pics all the time. Sorry. Okay, please make your list of all you need your ass busted for. It's a long list, I'm sure. Yes, sir, I will. Please call me after school. What did you wear today? I'm gonna bust your ass so hard, then pound you hard. <laughs> okay, daddy. I like that. I'll call you after school. I hope the Wi-Fi will be working at my house. You know I want to video chat with you too. Tell me what you're wearing, please. For daddy, for daddy, my daughter, Callie. Jeans, t-shirt, Sorry, the storm knocked out the towers here. What kind of jeans? What kind of panties? What kind of jeans? What kind of panties? I don't know, white ones, regular jeans. Tight jeans? Bikini panties? Not really, no, like boy shorts. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put your panties in my mouth. <laughs> okay. So my granny told me this morning she's leaving tomorrow, but I'm going to crash at my friend's tomorrow night. Guy friend? <laughs> no. <laughs> my best friend, Amanda. Y'all going to do stuff? Sexual stuff? Y'all spanking each other or anything? Does anyone know what you're into? <laughs> no. Her parents are there. No. Anyone know about me? No. Are you going home after school Friday? Yeah. She said I can stay by myself Friday and Saturday. Because she thinks if I stay by myself tomorrow, I won't go to school Friday. So that's why I'm going to crash with Amanda and her parents are going to take us to school. When do I need to show up? You got pics of Amanda. <laughs> um, when do you want to? Friday evening or night. Amanda pics? Okay. No, she has a boyfriend. I'm not sending pics of her. That's not cool. Okay, sorry, I apologize. It's okay. I just thought you were interested in me, not her. My mistake, I am. I just want to see what my daughter's bestie looks like. Is she nice to you? Maybe you can meet her or something if you want. Yeah, she's nice. I want to make sure my daughter has the best influences, not bad influences. I'm interested in you. Okay. Part of my interest in you is making sure you're safe. I am safe and protected. No bad influences. Okay. No bad friends. I didn't mean it that way. I understand. I'm not interested in her. Okay. I'm interested in you. You are my daughter. Your dad had got to look out for his daughter. Yes, sir. You should be happy your dad is concerned. I am happy, daddy, and I'm excited to spend time with you. I am too. If I can't make it this weekend, is there another time that you know of now when we can get together? No. Do you want to come tomorrow instead? I can try to see if I can stay home. Friday is better. I was just wondering if I can't make it this weekend, how soon before we can get together? And are you going to wait for me? I have no idea. Or stop having anything to do with me? No, I'll wait. But I want to have a good time this weekend while I can though, you know? I understand. And I do too. I am just not 100% sure I will be able to make it or not. Oh, okay. I mean, I understand. 
If I can't make it, are you going to replace me this weekend? I don't know. I mean, like I said, I never get to be left alone that much. And I worked really hard getting my granny to trust me again. I just want to finally have a good time. Okay. Are you mad? Guess you're done with me now, huh? Wow. I never said that, nor meant that. I was away from my phone. I met my chiropractor. Oh, okay, just checking. Yes, sir. Do you still want me to call you when I get home from school? Yes, please, Callie, my daughter. Okay, Daddy. Are you done with me? Did you give up on me? You gonna replace me? Are you gonna come see me? Yes. Please answer me. Are you going to replace me? Are you done with me? No, I'm not, Daddy. Are you giving up on me? No, no. I'm getting in the bus. Let me call you when I get home. Okay, sir? Okay, Callie. Picture. You are so damn sexy. Thank you, Callie, baby. <laughs> You're welcome, Daddy. Your voice, I'm going to make love to. Your looks, I am going to make love to. <laughs> I can't wait. You sent me a pic with you wearing glasses. I like your glasses. Oh, you're so cute. Thank you. When do you wear glasses? To see the board at school. You're better looking than me. You're sexy. Your glasses are sexy. I've got a board you can look at. <laughs> cool. Board of Education. Apply to your seat of learning. Mmm. You're a fast eater. I'm still eating. Okay. Oh, my, 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 my. And that's not all. There's more. Look at those boards. Boards of education. I want to talk to you on the phone again. I want to talk to you on the phone ASAP, please. I'm home now. I want to explain to you what I do. Please, sweetie. Darling. Baby. My daughter, Callie. Okay, give me a little bit. My granny and I are watching TV. She said she wants to spend time with me before she leaves. Okay. That's awesome. I respect that. Thank you. I'm all about family. You are the sexiest person in the whole world, as far as I'm concerned. Ah. From how I see you. Thanks. You're welcome, daughter. Smiley. I've been outside. Have you called? Phone was inside. It's almost super dark outside right now. Black as the ace of spades. Black as such. Mm, it's dark. So I'd say it gets dark there around 7. Maybe a little bit before 7. Mm, more like 7.30. Okay. I'm about to go shower and go to bed, Daddy. Okay. But I need to tell you what I do before you go to bed. Okay. Tell me. I'll message it to you. You still work it on your list? Yes, sir. But I mean, I can't remember anything else that bad, really. Okay. Okay. Night, Daddy. Night, my daughter. Smiley. Kissy face. Are you really 13? Not 14? You turned 14 in September. Please tell me. Please, baby. Please tell me the truth. Please. Please, sweetness. No, I'm 14. I promise, Daddy. Swear. I promise I wouldn't lie about that at all. Okay, going back to sleep. Night. You said you were born in 2003. That makes you 13 turning 14 this year. No, 2002. Did I say 2003? Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> you said 2003. I said 2002. And you said no, 2003. <laughs> I'm sorry, Daddy. I really didn't mean it. <laughs> you confused me because you kept saying all of these numbers. Sorry. Okay, have you been dreaming of me paddling you and spanking you? Yes, sir. Tell me the dreams. Tell me about the dreams. Like you spanked me. <laughs> With paddles. Yes, sir. Awesome. Your daddy is going to paddle your bare ass as hard as he can. I'm going to swing the paddle with holes in it with both hands. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, daddy. Just saying hi. Hello, darling. What kind of panties are you wearing today? What kind of panties? 
What kind of panties? And what color panties? Hi, Daddy. Mm, just my normal ones. <laughs> color? Bikini? No, not bikini. Um, they're white. Boy shorts? Yeah. I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> okay. You're in trouble, Callie. Turn around, spread your legs, bend over all the way to your feet. Grab your ankles, hold on, don't move. You're getting six licks. I'm gonna paddle you, stay in position. I'm not going to go easy on you because you are a girl. I'm not gonna hold back. I'm gonna paddle you as hard as I can. You made me blush. Awesome. I may be leaving later tomorrow than I was expecting to. I may not get the chance to leave here until seven in the, in the evening, or maybe a tad bit later. I've got so much to get done here first. I am guesstimating I may be able to leave earlier. I'll let you know for certain. So if I leave around seven tomorrow evening, I would be getting there around 1 a.m. your time, maybe midnight your time, maybe a pinch after 1 a.m., but I'm gonna leave as soon as I can. I haven't told you what I do. I started telling you, I'd never finished. I help my mom. She's a widow. Dad passed in September, cancer. Before he passed, I was helping both mom and dad. I helped them the whole time he was sick. I have a brother and a sister, but they have their own families with marriages and kids, and they live far from here. I'm right next door to my mom. I literally a walk away. I have no kids, no marriage, no family of my own. So in some ways, it can be seen as my family taking advantage of me and of where I live and that I have no family. I help all the time. I stopped working to help. I stopped working in 2015 to help. I cut grass, weed, eat, tend to two gardens, at least 10 blueberry bushes, lots of grass and weeds. Mom has a pool within its own pool house. I have to keep clean and maintained. There's her two vehicles, her house to clean both inside and on the outside. So, so much. When dad was sick, it all fell on me to handle and take care of. And now that he's gone, it's all me. Then there's my house and my yard and my car. I gotta take care of all that too. Wow, that's a lot, daddy, sir. Some people see it as me being unemployed. Some see it as this being my job. Some see a job as a clock in, clock out thing. Oh. I've always helped both my parents, but I was working too. Oh, what kind of job? I helped when I could, as much as I could. I was in retail marketing management, restaurant management. Oh, okay, cool. Security too. My brother and sister come help every now and then when they want. I don't have that option. I can't just go back to where I live hours from here. I walk back home. I'm here all the time. I watched my dad die daily. Wow, sounds like you need a break, daddy. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Now I watch my mom die daily too, basically, from grieving and hurting and remembering and so much. Thank you, baby doll. That's so sad. I'm sorry, daddy. People who aren't here don't see it firsthand, don't live it firsthand. Only my mom and me do. Aw. I have family members who could help but don't. The family members who are busy with jobs and family and everything are the ones who help when they can and when they want. How do you see all of that? What do you think of it all? What's your opinion? I think you have a lot to do. I think you might need a break. <laughs> really, that's a lot of stress. You think I'm being taken advantage of? Maybe a little. I'm gonna bang you so hard. Your head is gonna do like the head on one of those toys that had the two dudes box each other and their head shoot up in the air. Your head is gonna do that because I'm gonna bang you so hard. Your head is gonna pop off. Did you wear green last Friday on St. Patty's Day? Oh my God. I don't know what to think. Should I be scared? That sounds scary. No, it's funny, not scary. No need to be scared at all. Will it hurt? Please don't be scared. You'll have to let me know. You want it to hurt? Oh, okay. Do you want it to hurt? I don't know. Do I? Hurts so good. Oh, okay. Like a hard massage? Hurt and feel amazing at the same time. Yes. Oh. You wear green on St. Patty's Day? Yeah. Okay. I get pinched. You get pinched, not I. No. <laughs> I'm going to pinch your ass. 
Smiley. Please understand, I'm not complaining about helping my parents. I understand. It makes sense. Not many people would take care of their parents. You know what I mean. Most wouldn't. Yeah. When I was helping back when dad was sick, they were both so very mean and hateful to me. I was helping and they were ugly to me. It may have been them lashing out because dad was dying with cancer, but I was helping. I busted my ass. I lost 80 pounds from all I did and still do. It's lots of physical labor, heavy lifting and other physical labor work. Again, most people in that situation would have left. They would not have helped. You know what I mean. You know people like that. Most people are that way. We all know tons of people like that. Yeah, that's a lot to take on. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, baby. I am a Christian. I know that's probably really difficult to believe, but I am a Christian. And that is how you love like a Christian. That is Christian love. People treat you like pure shit. You love them back. Don't hate them. Don't want bad things to happen to them. Love them back. Love people no matter how they treat you. That's Christian love. That's cool that you're a Christian. You are too. Yeah. Yes, sir. Daddy. Oh, sorry. Yes, sir. Daddy. Extra licks each time you don't say it. Yes, sir. Extra licks each time you move out of position. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Extra licks each time you stand up. Extra licks each time you move. Yes, sir. Did anyone notice you blush? Did anyone say anything about you blushing? <laughs> no. Okay. My mom does pay me for helping her. Do you see it as a job? Do you see it? What's your opinion? What do you think? I think you are a good person helping your family. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you, Callie. I try. That's all I can do. Do you think I should spank and paddle my 17-year-old bratty niece I told you about? <laughs> Does she need it? Hell yes. She's never been spanked. Then yes. <laughs> Her mom, my sister, doesn't believe in it. She's like those bitches I know. You know, bitches, you know. Oh, yeah. She's disrespectful to all adults, including me and her mom and my mom and dad when he was alive. Oh, wow. And she's done lots more bad stuff. Are you okay with me possibly leaving here later than I was expecting to? I mean, yeah. I just hope I'm not asleep when you get here. Okay. I'm going to try to leave as early as I can. I'll be calling you. You will have to talk to me when I drive. How's your list look now? That's cool. It's the same. I haven't worked on it. Sorry, Daddy. It's 1,000 items long. It will end up being 5,000 items long when I'm finished. You're with your bestie? You know I want to talk to you. You know your daddy wants pics of his daughter. I know. Maybe soon. Is it supposed to storm there this weekend? It's supposed to storm here all day Saturday and some Sunday. Oh, uh, I don't know. I will protect you. I'll keep you protected. Okay, good, Daddy. But if it storms bad, like tornadoes and things that bad, will you have to go to somebody else's house or somewhere else to be safe? Or do you have a basement there? What do y'all do when it gets bad, like tornadoes and worse? I need your address so I can go to your house. We just go in the middle of the house. I don't want to give out my address till I'm there. That just feels weird. Just GPS Monticello. I'm like not far from town. Okay. I respect that. Never mean to scare you, Callie. Didn't mean to scare you. Didn't mean to freak you out. I'm sorry. It's getting super dark there now. It's okay. I'm just with my friend. Yeah, it's pretty dark, I guess. Awesome. Enjoy. Have fun. I will, Daddy. Miss you. Thank you. Miss you, too. Hey, Daddy. Hello. Super hello. How are you? I missed you last night. Sorry I didn't text. I was with Amanda and her parents. <laughs> Super hello, sir. Do your friends get spankings at their homes? Um, no, I don't think so. You don't know any girls from your school who get spanked at home? I mean, I guess because we're older now and not kids. But you're right, sir. We need to be spanked. Damn straight, all y'all girls do. I have no kids. But if I had daughters, I'd bust their ass on a daily basis. Yes, sir. Girls don't get spanked. 
And that's why you girls end up being so mean and hateful and bitches and disrespectful. But if you girls got your ass busted all the time, then you all would be better. Yes, sir. You're right, daddy. If I worked there as a teacher or a coach or a principal, every girl would get paddled hard by me all the time. I have a present for you, daddy. You are so beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm so excited about tonight. You are amazing. I am too. Okay, I have to go to an assembly now. Okay. Oh my. You like, sir? Yes, absolutely, yes. <laughs> I wish I was out of school already. Are you still in bathroom? No, but I'm close to it. Pick some butt, please. <laughs> oh my god, okay, hang on. Wow! Oh my! So sexy! So damn sexy! <laughs> okay, I have to get to the assembly. I don't want to get in trouble. And they'll call my granny. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. So, so very super sexy. Thank you, Daddy. Did you pack yet? <laughs> you turn me on. You give me a hard on. Smiley face. Is that okay with you? Does that bother you any? Are you okay with that? That I'm turned on by you? That you give me a hard on? Yeah, I like it. Is that okay? Yes, yes indeed. Terrific. Does it make you wet? Do I make you wet? Um, I don't know. Maybe. You are super, Callie. You're my super daughter. Thank you, Daddy. You're pretty awesome, too. We will have super sex. I'll wear a cape. <laughs> That's cool. Can you bring a cape? You will get super spankings from me and super paddlings from me. How many are you going to bring, sir? If I had one, I don't have a cape. How many paddles? Yeah, yes. Sorry, sir. Several. All that I have, I have several. Oh, wow. So when are you going to leave? If I had a cape, I'd bring it. Not sure yet. I'll let you know. I'm so excited, Daddy. I'm a little nervous. Is that okay? Yes, that's normal. It's okay. Okay. You have no reason to be. Okay, good. Is your mom going to be mad you're coming to see me? Your daddy wants to see pics of your butt bent over, please. I can't now. I'm at the assembly. She doesn't know. She knows I'm going to be gone. She isn't mad, though. I told her I'd be away for the weekend. Oh, okay. She knows I'm going to be somewhere else. She knows I will be gone for the weekend. Oh, okay. I am just not telling her where I'm going and who I'm going to see. Oh, okay. Nor what I'm going to do. But yes, I tell her ahead of time if I'm going to be somewhere and won't be able to help her. I tell her days before. I try to give her several days of a heads up. She's a super mother. I try to be a super son. Can your daddy see pics of your butt bent over after the assembly? Please, 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 super please? That's good. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Tonight. Okay, I'm going to paddle your ass so hard. Do you think your panties are going to protect your ass? No, sir. Do you want them to? No, sir. Awesome. You are super duper awesome. <laughs> daddy. You're going to super duper going to get me caught texting. <laughs> okay. Sorry, baby. It's okay. I just don't want my granny getting called when we're so close to tonight. Hey, daddy. Hey, baby. Daddy is a little busy right now. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. It's okay. Smiley. Can you call me or I call you? Um, you got to wait till I get home off the bus. Daddy, sorry, it's really hard to hear on here. Okay, didn't know you were on bus. I'm about to shower then leave. Sorry I haven't left yet. I'm going to Monticello by my GPS. From there, you will have to direct me over the phone. Sorry I haven't left yet. I've been super busy. It's okay, I understand. I will call you when I get off the bus, Daddy. Is it still okay for me to come there? Yes, sir. Okay, if I don't answer, I'm in shower. Okay. Are you still on the phone? 
I'm driving to the interstate. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to clean up now, but I'm going to call my aunt too still. I just talked to my granny. She okay? Everything okay? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yes, sir. You okay? I'm voice texting while driving. I'm not texting with fingers while driving. Oh, that's good. What are you going to be wearing when I get there? Did I scare you? No. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I was cleaning still. What do you want me to wear? You have school Monday morning, little lady. Are you going to ask your aunt to come? Hell no. Your aunt going to come there? No. Maybe tomorrow night to bring me dinner? But she said she would call me tomorrow morning and we would talk about it. What will I do? My car will be there. You can just go to the store real quick or something. Okay. Did you talk to her? Have you talked to your aunt? No, not yet. She said she was getting her nails done and would call me back. <laughs> okay. Are you okay, Daddy? Yes. Driving. Do you want Dr. Pepper cans? Or two liter? Or both? Voice text while driving. Um, whatever you want, sir. <laughs> okay. What is the tightest thing you have to wear? Mm, I don't know. You said you have leggings. Yes, I gotta find them. Well, can you call me please now? I will in a little bit, Daddy. I'm still cleaning. Okay. Your aunt called back? Has your aunt called back? No, I'm still waiting. Sorry, Daddy. How was your drive? Okay. What is the tightest thing you have from the waist down that you don't have to search for? Mm, I don't know. I have a pair of pajama shorts or something. I'd have to look. Just anything that you have that's tight from the waist down. I mentioned leggings because leggings are tight. But something you don't have to find, something you know where it is at. Okay. Can I take you eating somewhere? Is that a good idea if we are seen together? You have any family who would see us? You have any family who lives in that area? Mm, well, it's a small town, so if someone sees me, they might be like, who is that? <laughs> okay, so it's a bad idea? Mm, I would say we would go to, like, Madison. It's like 25 minutes away. Okay, nobody you know will see us there? Your phone number shows up as Columbus. How close is that? Mm, I have no idea. Okay. I don't live in Columbus. <laughs> okay. How's the drive? Okay. No one you know will see us in Madison? I don't think so. I don't know anyone there. Okay. Add it to your list? Oh, no, sir. I guess I should work on that before you get here. You could just tell me after I get there. Yes, sir. What do your friends think you were doing this weekend? <laughs> Well, when you told me you were coming, I told them I was grounded and I couldn't go out or have anyone over. <laughs> Aw, thank you, baby. You're welcome. How far away are you? I don't know. Have you found anything to wear? I don't really have anything super tight other than my panties. <laughs> okay, that will work. Okay, Daddy. Are you tired of driving? A little. I'm sorry. What can I do? It's okay. Can I call you in a minute? Thank you, baby. You're welcome. How far away are you? I don't know. Have you found anything to wear? Just please don't fall asleep. <laughs> I'm not. Have you ate? Please eat. I ate some crackers. I'm not super hungry. Super hungry. <laughs> you are super sexy. You hung up. <laughs> no, you did. The phone hung up. I did not hang up. I did not hang up. <laughs> oh my god, like it just hung up, I swear. It's okay. Please call me, please. I believe you. Please call me, please. I will in a little bit. How much longer till you're here? Not sure. It might be closer to midnight. I'm sorry about that. I'm driving there now. If you take a nap now, would I be able to wake you from calling you? What? I mean, like, where are you though? Wake you from calling you. Please make sure your phone is charged. Yeah, just come in the front door. I'm putting on my jeggings. Hold on. <laughs>
No jeggings for him tonight. The deputy's body cam shows this up-close angle of the arrest. But before Deason is taken to the county jail, he's taken inside the house, and he's about to take a seat. I'm Chris Hansen. Whoa, for real? Enjoy your tea camp.